Hey guys, welcome back to the People Front of Judeo here in EU4, featuring the extended timeline mod. And in the last episode, we have suffered a devastating, we have fought a devastating war and suffered a devastating loss. Um, it was sh it was shameful. It was disgraceful. Um, we have actually now changed our um, milit well, yeah, our type of units we're using. Before we have used the Roman militia, which has only morale. Now we actually use them with the defensive shock pip. Um, yeah, I really don't know why I haven't had them before. And I don't know why we're losing so much money now. War operations. 50 cents! Jesus Christ! Wow, this war was just... It was so bad. It was so bad. The worst thing I've ever done. Um, in the... Well, I, definitely in this playthrough. That's that's for sure. So yeah, let's load the fun, funding on our troops. And what we want to do now is probably... Um... Hmm... We definitely want to, yeah, definitely check out if we can actually uh, upgrade our military or our, our technology at some point. It's only 15 years f from now, so perhaps we're able to do something. I really don't know. Um, Rome actually is indifferent to us now. They don't want an alliance, but they're not that pissed. We obviously want the bureaucrat candidate. Gain partial uh, improved relations with these two big guys. They're probably never gonna ally me anyways, but we'll uh, we'll have to try. I can't believe you made Axum stronger. This is just ridiculous. We lost a claim on Mecca and Hylab. It's been that long already. Wow. Yeah, you really can't do much here if you're not playing. I guess if you if we would have played over there, um, we could have formed Great Britain with relative ease because the Romans would not cross. Over we fight here, but yeah, with these guys having tech 7, that's just ridiculous. And they're obviously having an ally as well, so it's pretty much impossible for me to do anything. And now we have to pay 60 cents every freaking month to these guys. We're funding them so much. Now, the good thing is they can't really do anything with their money, but they do have Jewish religion here. Is that true? Ah, so that's more, more the reason. All the more reason to uh, take care of them and take them out. Yeah, we can't build any any buildings. Sadly enough, and I think we're gonna um yeah sp well we're gonna save up our points for now um and see if we can tack up. It's only f 14 years ahead of time now. So I wonder. Still, I think Judea is still the strongest or one of the uh, uh, most developed provinces in the game. 27. I don't care about the fucking units, seriously. Um, 27. Uh, Constantinople is 22 still. Rome is 27, so yeah, Rome and Judea are, are the biggest um, cities in the world. And one of them is our capital. I'm very happy and very glad we live in such a great city. Right, yeah, improve late or come back from improving relations, whatever. Stop it. Um, Wait, right, you know what? I don't care if my... Don't... Don't do that. That's really annoying. So yeah, this is 199. Um development shouldn't it go down due to capital city minus four percent only hmm. don't know palmyra has a core here okay at least our republican tradition is up so what can we get we can get an extra merchants that would be totally useless so yeah let's get the uh, global trade power that would at least do something useful Still over our force limit, but it doesn't matter. Um, rather over my force limit than not. Problem is, we lost our godly general. That's really a big bummer. So we're gonna see if we can actually only save up 1,158. If that's the case, then I really don't understand how these other guys are able to get tech 7 already. Um, and it gives them a huge bonus, really. So, yeah, well, we'll see. If I can get over it, then... Well, shit, but somehow I doubt it. I somehow doubt it. I guess we're gonna find out. 
Um, we're getting our manpower back slowly, but surely, so that's fine. Making some money. I guess we could get some more advisors, but it's not really necessary. Maybe it is. Um, at least the um, production efficiency? Prestige? Prestige sounds good. It's good prestige. Yep. That could help us. So, yeah, and we actually capped on, on these promises. Let's, let's run one more month just to check it out. But I think, yeah, we really capped. Yep, we are capped out. So I don't understand how these guys are tech seven. I really don't understand, and it's it's really a, it's really a pain because otherwise I could have already, you know, I mean, not sure if I would actually be able to fight these guys because we've also lost against Axum. But you know, not being that far away and being able to actually like crush an army quick, then besiege this one guy and force him to peace out, that would have been possible. But yeah, this is just this is just difficult. Um. So yeah, improve our manpower here. In this province as well. This one has salt. So that we want to improve the production. Improve the manpower. Um, nope. Nope. This is all salt. We can do it here. Okay. Already done it as much as possible. Oh, we don't have any points left. Alright, fine. Well, it gets rid of these points very quickly, actually. So now, I wonder if there's a discount now. No, it's still 199 point cost. Hmm. Now I can con change the culture here to Bedouin. We don't have enough points, though. Yeah, why would I do that? Anyway. Actually, by the way, what happens if you have a... If you have your main culture, but no province of your main culture, then you immediately accept any other cultures, don't you? That would be amazing. I'd actually like that. Kind of an exploit. Well, no, not really. But I guess it's not worth doing it. Let's have a look at the cultures anyway. So there's, those are the only two Judean pro uh, culture provinces. But one of them is not even Jewish. Guess we should have just declared war on Kush here. Can we get our alliance back? They don't want to. I don't blame him. Although, if we were to improve relations. Well, no. Defended our territory. Yeah, I made you lose territory, if you remember correctly. So we could get one more advisor. Um, spy, better relations over time, trade efficiency, let's get the trade efficiency, because why not? We have the money right now, we're not going to be at war with anyone, um, because we can't fight these guys, we can't fight these guys, uh, we can't fight Rome, so those are all the people we border, basically, well, we don't even border this guy, but, yeah, and all of these people have allies and stuff, though these probably are not too strong, but then my land would not even be connected, so I don't like it that much. Huh, that's uh, really a bummer because I really don't know what to do at the moment. Um, these guys, oh, Roman Crimea. Romans have um, soaked in one of their vassals. One more vassal of theirs. Indo Parsia. Sunni guy. Sunni kingdom. <sighs> Power projection is very low. We could actually send an insult to that guy again. We're still paying him war operations? Yes, we are. So, huh, that's 60 cents, that's so much. Hmm. Still broken, because I remember in my Asterix campaign, when I sacked Rome, when I won the war against Rome, I demanded war operations, and only the, the only war operations I got was one ducat per month from the entire Roman Empire. And now, as tiny Judea, I'm already paying 60 cents to Axum. So, I really don't understand why Rome, um, I guess we want to keep him. I really don't understand how Rome, uh, does not have, um, <laughs> you know, how, how Rome could only pay one docket and be out of it. They should have, 
we, we should have been swimming in money as Asterix. But um, somehow that was broken, I don't know. People suggested that because all of these, there was a lot of people who broke free. Obviously, Rome um, made less money, but still, I can't believe that. Uh, gain inflation? Nah, be, be careful, I don't know. Because we don't have someone who reduces inflation. Could have gotten an advisor for that, but nah, don't want to bother. Look at our mercantilism, 31%. It's pretty good. And obviously having one stability helps out a lot as well. Okay, how much more do we have to wait until we can tack up? Another 10 years. I wonder if we then have to wait another 10 years to tack up again, or if then actually it goes quicker. Um, that would really help out a lot. If then, you know, every so often we could tack up. But if we have to wait another, like, 50 years for the next technology... Oh, wow. That would be, uh... That'd be quite annoying. But yeah, um... I mean, we obviously have quite some more time to go. But I just hope it's gonna be quicker. I mean, we almost see as much of the world that we do as, like, a European in the beginning of, of 1444. So we already know, basically, in the, in the next 1,400 years, there's no new explorations. We don't know any more of the world than we now already, uh, that, than we uh, already know right now. I don't think that's how it should be, but I guess it's very difficult to um, design that. And make it work in a game like E4. Yeah, all of our tax, all of our juicy tax. And again, if it's, if it's, are we, are we paying 20% of our tax? I guess, I guess we're paying 20% of our tax. Okay, then it makes sense. Otherwise, I was thinking, we're not making six ducats. <sighs> and all the while, we have to wait. Parsia is doing all that stuff. Check out the technology again. Yeah, these guys still have seven. But at least they, they can't advance. It must be a bug. This must be a bug. And it's a bad one. It's a bad one. It's not how it should be. I want artillery. Right, so you're almost at the cap of our admin points. We have uh, nine more years ahead of time. Lost all of our claims, which, well, I mean, they don't matter at all. We can't take them anyway. Um, we get infantry fire. I guess these technologies don't make that big of a difference. Yeah, look at how the combat with only improves level 32. The tactics, nothing really improves. Although this improves at level 8. Okay, land morale, flank. So I guess, I guess that this is not that useful. Level 5, they get extra. So the only thing they really have is improved fire. Infantry fire improved by plus 0.02. Oh, oh, it's not really a lot. That's the only benefit they have from that technology. So I guess I could fight them. Huh. But again, they have their allies again. So... I'm not entirely sure. I wish I could ally this guy. Right, well, let's, in this case, let's get our claims again. And we'll just try. I mean, we can only fail, really. At least we no longer have these uprisings, the Nabataeans. That's good for us. And in another hundred years, we will lose the Nabatea. Well, we will lose Nabatea as a core, which is good. Well, Nabatea will lose his bombs as a core. And of course, we get Comet Strider. This is the second time now. Stop it. So let's bring our troops over to the border, actually. We could immediately walk in there and kill them. It's only desert. But yeah, they will bring so many more men. Have to be careful. 
if I can roll the godly general again, I do it. How long is our truce with these guys? It should be over. Still paying maintenance though. How long will that be? Still have military access from Rome. And we can tack up. Interesting. Um, what would it do? It wouldn't change anything at all, so there's no, there's no point in doing that. But, we're probably just gonna improve the taxes here. But not right now, because then we're just gonna have to give more money to Axum. Something I definitely don't want. How long do we have to pay operations? Can I see this somewhere? Lost our arrival. Okay, we have gotten our first claim. Let's get the second one. probably won't be able to support our troops with all these advisors so we're gonna have to get rid of the prestige one perhaps um, local production manpower yeah that's the one oh man this is really frustrating sometimes but yeah we're gonna get our third claim um, and we have to do something about this. I don't want to tack up um, just now, so we're gonna have to improve um, Judea first, and then we could go for other provinces. Yeah, that one. Man, we could also go for that one. All the ones where we want manpower to improve, we might do those. Yep. Okay, that was actually <laughs> too too much probably, but whatever. We're gonna need some to cool all of this. But we're still seven years ahead of time and doesn't really give us any big bonuses, so it's not worth going uh, going over the time. We should be getting the ahead of time bonus, actually, don't we? Do we get ahead of time? I don't know. The tax? Maybe that's that's what it is. Production gives us ahead of time. Yeah, it does. We got actually 20% production bonus. Um, yep, keep that guy. Get some more points in. Our tradition is fine. Okay, so let's start the claim on Jedha. He has claims on our stuff as well. But we should be able to kill him. Lose prestige, gain unrest. Unrest is fine. Nobody's gonna really do anything. This guy has a bigger fleet, however. So, um... Rome has 140,000 men. Eden du Partia has a lot of them. Um, should be over here at some point. People's Front has 14,000. Um, Kushan, 10,000. Our old allies. They're no longer. Hmm. What, are the, what is the name? Tamund. 7,000, yeah, so they have 14,000 together and whatever this guy has, but we could crush them quickly, I think. If we do it smart, if we do it smart, we'll be able to do it. This is mountains. If we kill them and then defend in the mountains. Um, not sure if they're actually going to give them military access. Perhaps they won't, because they have actually rivaled both of them, but they can obviously walk through um, this territory here. That's probably what they will do. So yeah, I think what we're gonna do is get as a leader. Um, yep, we got one who sucked immediate balls, but that's totally fine. Um, and let's start raising our manpower so that we can immediately declare the war. We'll actually lose some money for that, which is probably not the best. We don't want to be losing money, so let's get rid of the trade efficiency guy, just so we're not losing money. 
still losing money because trade efficiency. All right, let's get rid of prestige guy as well. It was nice to have them while it lasted. It was nice to have them for a time, but we don't need them anymore. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna put a cut in here. We're gonna end this episode now um, And next time we're gonna declare the war anyways guys. Thank you so much for joining me I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Steve Drunker signing off